Good day, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Burlington, and I'm on my way to the park with little Miss Kenzie. She's very excited. Just want to do a, a video uh, of a review, a movie review. Yesterday, I watched the movie. I pulled the plug, I pulled the trigger, I guess whatever you want to say. And I, um, I got myself a membership to the Daily Wire, which is, I think I had one before, and it expired or whatever. Anyway, got myself a membership to the Daily Wire so that I could watch this, this documentary that Matt Walsh put out that everybody's talking about, What is a Woman? And I watched it, and it was good. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It, uh, it was, um, of course it had a political slant, but, um, throughout most of it, it was very, uh, sort of genuine in its asking of the question, what is a woman? You know, the, Matt Walsh would go around and ask different people, what is a woman? He'd ask people in the field of gender, uh, studies at a university, gender medicine at a, a you know, with private practitioners. And, um... And everybody who's sort of inculcated in the in the um, narrative, let's say, uh, had a very difficult time answering that question. Or they would say, you know, well, a woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. And Matt Walsh would follow up, okay, but what is that? And and people didn't understand that they were they were basically giving a circular definition. A woman is a woman because it's a woman, you know? God is God because he's God, you know? Um, so it was like, uh, it, it was really interesting to see. Now, of course, documentaries like this, documentaries like Michael Moore's documentary, documentaries, they have a political slant. It's not simply a matter of let's under, let's look at the, the, you know, societal implications of climate change and then you just talk about climate change, right? Which also has a political slant. Or, you know, let's look at, you know, Generation X and find out what they're going through in today's society. That could be a, a very unbiased documentary where you just get testimonials from people who are members of Generation X, right? Uh, this is a political slant, and uh, I think anybody going in to watch it knows that. But it, it, was, uh, it was really well put together. It was really well done. Uh, great production value. Uh, I'd say better than any Michael Moore production was ever done. Um, and I think a little bit more honest when it comes right down to it. None of it was like, nothing, it seemed anyway, was taken out of context. Nothing, it seemed, was, you know, uh, um, edited in a manipulative way. Uh, it seemed pretty genuine. But, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people who come out and say, well, this is, you know, he didn't, he edited it in such a way to make my words appear as something different. I mean, these are words right out of the people's mouths, you know, like... Anyway. Like this one woman, this Dr. Forcier, indicated that whenever a child starts to express an interest in transitioning, they can begin transitioning. To which Matt Walsh had a question, well, you know, do you know, do you know a six-year-old who believes in Santa Claus? He's like, yeah, sure. He's like... Would you say then that a six-year-old has a relatively decent grasp on reality or an incomplete grasp of reality? It's just, well, that six-year-old has a grasp of reality, you know, uh, consistent with that of a six-year-old. It's like, right, so it's not a fully formed grasp of reality. Do you think that it would be appropriate to let a life-changing decision put that in the hands of a six-year-old? I mean, it's one thing to make believe that Santa Claus is real, or to believe that Santa Claus is real because there's no impact, but to believe that you're the opposite sex and then go through a process of, you know, drugs and possibly surgery to uh, permanently affect your life uh, at six years old, I mean, that, that's a little ridiculous. And I think any parent who, you know, goes that way, you know, they're, they're failing as a parent. Uh, it's a form of Munchausen by proxy, you know, I, I think other people have said that before one of the things that I didn't quite understand about The documentary and, and me, I've got my suspicions as to why it is they interviewed a couple of people who are trans One of which that was sympathetic to the point of view of the producers of the documentary Basically, it's a bad idea 
to go through this. You know, regardless of how you think it might make you feel, at the end of the day, you will never be the opposite sex. You can present as the opposite gender, but you will never be the opposite sex. This one guy was like very upset, guy, girl, was a woman who transitioned to male and was very upset about the fact that this type of stuff is being foisted on children now because of all the horrors and the difficulties he, she went through. Um, one of the things I was quite surprised by is that they didn't, they didn't bring uh, Blair White into it. And I don't know why that is because she's sort of politically aligned with the folks at the Daily Wire. I think she's been on Ben Shapiro's show before. She's been on, you know, other people's show before at the Daily Wire. I'm surprised they didn't incorporate her because she, one, her position on this is that, yes, transitioning children is wrong. But maybe, maybe the reason is uh, she's kind of like the success story of transitioning. I mean, I, I've said this before, it's no, it's no, um, it's no secret. I think Blair White's a knockout. And, uh, but, um, the thing is, uh, I guess if they say, well, no, children shouldn't transition. I transitioned at 18, you know, and look at me, I'm this, you know, bombshell kind of thing. Uh, maybe that would sort of undermine their message that people can't, because most of the people that did, most of the trans people that they interviewed, uh, you know, they look like crude facsimiles of the gender they were trying to present, right? They, they. You know, there was a guy who was become an ugly woman, right? Anyway, so maybe, you know, that would have undermined my message. Maybe they had, maybe they had uh, um, footage or, or, or uh, testimony from her, but they found that this other, this other trans person's testimony was more heartfelt or they found this other person's testimony was more compelling, so they just used that. Either way, it's a solid documentary. I recommend that, you know what? Even if you just get like a monthly membership, I signed up for a full year because I support what the Daily Wire is doing anyway. Um, get a monthly membership, become an insider on Daily Wire for just a month, just so you can watch their film content. Uh, I watched Run, Hide, Fight too. That's a really good movie too. I'll do another review on that. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's got some issues, but I enjoyed it. Um, and then there's another one with Gina Carano coming out on the 14th. It's like a Western. And then they've got another sort of psychological horror thriller about a woman sort of trapped in a in a pantry or something like that uh, while her ex-boyfriend is terrorizing her and threatening her kids and stuff. Anyway, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I, I want to check that one out too. Uh, I think it's worth it. They're putting out enough content now that it's worthwhile to get sort of a streaming service, even if it's on a temporary basis just to get all the content. And I'm not just talking about the movies, there's lots of other Daily Wire content that of course you can watch on YouTube, but it's not fully complete on YouTube. You sort of cut off the Ben Shapiro show about you know, two thirds of the way through, and then if you want to watch the rest of it, you kind of have to you know, be a subscriber to the dailywire.com, um, which I think is, you know, like I said, I think it's worthwhile. Plus uh, there's another movie uh, called The uh, Hyperions, which is like a, uh, an action comedy superhero spoof movie uh, with Carrie Elways, and I've seen that before. I watched it at the premiere before it even went on their website. It was like premiered on YouTube. It's um, it's really good. Uh, it's really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, anyway, I didn't mean to make this video into shilling for the Daily Wire, but I just recommend that if you like documentaries, uh, you, and you you know you don't have an issue watching documentaries with a bit of political bias you can realize that it's biased. Uh, uh, what is a Woman by Matt Walsh and The Daily Wire is a, um, it's a damn good one, and I think you should give it a watch. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm at the park now. Kenzie's losing her mind, and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.